teeth. And this is the video for Essential Element for Trombone. This book here, page number four, we're going to be starting with our first notes on the trombone. Now, hopefully you have already learned how to take your instrument out of the case, how to put it together, how to get the slide moving properly, how to put your trombone away. If you need a refresher on that, no problem. Go back to the previous video where I talk about all of these things. Refresh yourself. How do I make my first sound? How is all of this working? And then we are going to get started with our first notes here. So we're going to go to page number four up on top on the top left hand corner and we are going to look at exercise number one the first note now the first note we are going to play on our trombone is called an f and it's going to sound like this <laughs> trombone and we're going to do that same thing. We're not going to worry about moving the slide yet and we're going to take a nice big breath before we play. So we're going to take a look at number one. We're going to play that note and we're going to hold it out and then we're going to rest together and then we're going to play it again and we're going to rest together. So here we go all together. Nice big breath. <laughs> Again, big breath. And rest. Very good. Congratulations. You have made your first note on the trombone. You are officially a trombone player now. Welcome to the brass family. So we're going to go right down to number two. And one of the things that we encounter a lot with music is that music has a beat, a pulse, a rhythm to it. And so we're going to practice that beat. Very often, one way we can keep track of that pulse is by tapping our foot like, like that. So as you're sitting down, I want you to tap your foot with me. And we are going to count. So we're going to go one two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So a lot of the music we're going to learn at the beginning is organized into four beats, four pulses at a time. Now, if we take a look at number two, we can see we have our F again, and we are separating that into four notes. So we're going to tap our foot and we're going to clap the rhythm, the quarter notes that we have there. So it's going to sound like one, two, three, four. And then we rest. Where we have those lines with the curves on them, those are rests. And what those mean are that we're not going to play. So all together, we're going to practice this. We're going to start right at the beginning of number two. We're going to clap for four beats and we're going to rest for four beats. And we're going to clap for four beats and we're going to rest for four beats and the whole time we're going to be tapping our foot here we go i'll count off you clap with me one two ready go and rest two three here we go again and rest two three four now we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to keep tapping our foot and we're going to play those notes, the Fs instead. Now, for us to play those individual notes, what we're going to do is we're going to say ta before every note. So try this with me. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, let's try that again. Ta, 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 ta. Now, when we make that ta sound while we're buzzing, we get Try that with me. Take your mouthpiece and say ta with me while you're buzzing to separate those notes. Okay, here we go. Big breath. That is what we call an articulation. That's how we can separate notes. We're going to put that into practice with number two here. 
So we're going to play four notes, we're going to rest four notes. We're going to play four notes, and we're going to rest another four notes. So here we go. I'm going to count off. One, two, ready, play. Rest. Two, three. Here we go again. Rest. Two, three, four. Very good. Now, we're going to go down to exercise number three, and we're going to learn a new note. You'll notice on the left-hand side, this is called an E-flat. And if we look at it on the staff, you'll notice that it is the third space up on the staff. So we can count from the bottom. One, two, three. Now, this e, for this E-flat, we are going to have to move the slide to third position. Where is third position? Well, we're going to take our brace right here where we hold the trombone and we're going to put it so that it's even with the bell. So slides going to go right here. When we're looking at it, it should look like it's even with the bell. And now we're going to play that E flat just like we did at the top with a nice big breath and we're going to hold it out. It should sound like So let's do that together. We're going to hold the E flat we're going to rest, we're going to hold, we're going to rest. So here we go, all together. Big breath. And rest. And again. Very good. So now we are going to go down to number four, where we're going to play both the E flat and the F. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to tap our foot again, just like it says down at the bottom, and we're going to clap the rhythm, but we're also going to say the note name. So it's going to sound like this. Ready, go. E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, rest, two, three, now going to F. F, 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 rest, two, three, four. Now, let's try that again here, okay? All together, two, ready, here we go. E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, rest, two, three, four, now F. F, 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 rest, two, three, four. Now we're going to play number four on our trombone. So remember, when we play the E flat, the first note, what position are we going to be on again? Third position. So we're going to put the crossbar right parallel where we can see it next to the bell. And then when we go to play the F, it's going to come all the way in into what we call first position. Third position, first position. Here we go, all together, starting on E flat and third. I'll count one, two, ready, here we go. One, two, now to the F, and rest, two, three, four. Excellent. And by the way, when you are separating those notes, don't forget to say ta, 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 like that. We're going to learn one more note here. This is going to be called a D. So if we take a look at number five, this is the third line up on the staff. And this is going to be in fourth position. Fourth position is where the end of the slide is sitting right parallel right next to the bell. So third position is where the brace is against the bell. Fourth position is where the slide is next to the bell there. Okay, and that note D is going to sound like like that. So let's play that all together. We're gonna to take a big breath, we're gonna play, we're going to rest, we're going to play, and we're going to rest again. Here we go, on our D, big breath. And rest. And here we go again. And rest again. 
Excellent. So we've learned three different notes now. F in first position, E flat in third position, and D in fourth position. We're going to put all of those notes together in number six here. So with number six, we are seeing these same rhythms again, these quarter notes, except we're adding one extra note. If we look at the bars, we see one, two, three, four, and then we have another note on the beginning of the second bar. And then the same rhythm happens again. So we are going to practice that. Let's start by clapping that rhythm together. We're going to tap our foot, and we're going to clap that rhythm together. Here we go. Two, ready, go, and clap. And again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to try that, but we're going to say the note name. So we're going to follow along on our line, starting on D, and we're going to go from D to E flat to F. Okay, say the note names along with me while we clap and tap our foot. Two, ready, here we go. D, 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 D. Rest, rest, keep following along. D, D, E flat, E flat, F. Rest, rest, rest. Now we're going to put that all together here. So let's try the first two bars together. Just the very first two bars, one and two of number six, where we're just gonna play that D and we're going to say that ta sound to separate the notes. So it's gonna sound like Okay, let's try that all together. Two, ready. Two, three, four. Now, if you take a look at the third and fourth bar of number six, now we're going to have to be moving the slide. So we're going to start on fourth position. D, D, then we're going to move to E flat. Don't forget E flat. This is against the bell. E flat, E flat. And then we're moving to F in first position. So it's going to be four, four, three, three, one. Let's try that all together. Say that with me. Starting fourth position. Big breath. D, D, E flat, E flat, F. And now with the numbers. Four, four, three, three, one. Now, let's play those notes, okay? Here we go, bar three and four, Ds, E flats, and F. With me, two, ready. Okay, very good. Now, let's do all of number six together here. So starting right from the beginning on our D. Don't forget to tap your foot. Don't forget that nice ta sound. Two, ready. Rest, rest, now we move. Congratulations, we just got through our first page of the Essential Elements book. Now, I recommend you go back and you practice all of these exercises. And don't forget, if you have trouble with any of them, you can certainly go back and watch the video here. It may just take time. The important thing is to keep practicing, keep doing your best, and I will look forward to seeing you for our next video. Happy practicing. See you soon.